Hi, I'm Dr. Margaret Paul, and I'm going to talk to you today about inner bonding and the concept of caretaking. Many of us grew up believing that we were responsible for other people's feelings. Uh, many of us had parents or grandparents or teachers or siblings or others in our lives that taught us that when they were upset or they were angry or they were hurt, it was our responsibility. And many of us learned when we were very young to put ourselves aside and go ahead and take responsibility for other people's feelings in the hopes that then they would love us and they would take care of our feelings. And so ultimately, when we take care of somebody else's feelings and ignore our own feelings, this is a form of control. This is a way of getting somebody else to take responsibility for our feelings. Now, this is very different than caring. Caring happens when we are taking responsibility for ourselves and we're filled up with love and we share that love with somebody else. But when we're doing that, we're not taking responsibility for their feelings. We're there for them, we're caring about them, we're helping them in any way we can. But it's very, very different than taking responsibility for somebody's feelings. Now, this is what caretaking looks like. I'm going to show you with a bear. So, let's say that this bear represents my inner child. And I'm in a relationship with somebody who takes their inner child and goes like this, says, here, you take responsibility for my feelings. And so what I do as a caretaker is I take my feelings, my inner child, and I shove them in a closet and I go and I take responsibility for the other person's inner child. And I'm there and I'm loving and I'm taking care of this child in the hopes that this person is gonna come and take my feelings, my inner child, out of the closet and take care of my feelings. Now, this is called a codependent relationship and ultimately it doesn't work because we have to take responsibility for our own feelings. We're the ones that are here. We're the ones that can feel what's going on inside. And it's our thoughts and our actions that are the cause of our feelings. And so how can somebody else take responsibility for our thoughts and our actions that are causing our feelings? Um, and so they can't. And, and what happens in a relationship is when I try and take care of your feelings and you try and take care of my feelings, we end up not feeling loved. Neither of us ends up feeling loved. We each end up feeling angry at the other person for not doing it the way that we want. And so whether we're making somebody else responsible for our feelings or we're taking responsibility for somebody else's feelings and caretaking them, it just doesn't work.